Hello guys and welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're jumping back into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and just obviously at the time I'm just um, making sure my weapons are all good, see if any weapons need prestige and stuff. But I'm thinking, do you know what? I want to roll with the CUDA. I want to look at the camo's play out. <laughs> It feels so weird, like, not having Dark Matter camo on my weapons, obviously, because all my main progression, as you guys were full aware if you've been watching my videos for quite a while now, when it comes to Black Ops 3, I've done all my main progression on this game on my Xbox One account, so, obviously, when me recording a lot of videos now on my PlayStation 4, there's a lot of things on this game that I don't have on my PlayStation 4, which I currently have on my Xbox One, like, for example, Dark Matter, a couple of DLC weapons and stuff, but it's all good, it's all good. So it should be interesting. I'm going to play some more free-for-all because I'm thinking to myself, you know what, you guys loved what I did on my first video I did on free-for-all on Black Ops 3. And I thought, you know what, can I do that same result again? Can I pull off another victory? Or am I just going to be an absolute newbie noob who's just going to get absolutely trashed by all these people in this lobby? I do not know, but it should be fun. Whew. So wish me luck with this one, guys. I run the map as well. I'm not really particularly keen on, but I remember back in the day, well, I've had some good moments on this map. You know what I mean? I have had a few good moments, but... It's just this map, like, I feel like in every Call of Duty game there's a map or a game mode that you're not particularly a fan of. I think in Black Ops 3, this map is one of the maps I'm not really too keen on. I don't know why, it's just one of the maps where every time I play it, even if it's a good map, I just think, mm, it's not the map for me. But hopefully today, it works in my favour. So we're going to roll with the CUDA for this one. Ooh, nice, got the first kill there. Unlock the quick draw as well. <laughs> I'm using a weapon with no attachments. <laughs> it's like I'm using a naked gun right now. Well, technically not naked because it's got a camo on it, but still. Nice. Very nice indeed. Let's do this. What's that guy doing? Come on. Get him. What? I swear that got him then. Surely. How come this guy ain't dying? Nice. Okay, I package in the UAV right now. He's got a UAV in the game. UAV, ready for tasking. I think we're gonna tell you a little fun a little funny little fact that happened to me earlier on, guys, and I think you guys will probably laugh your heads off when you realise what a silly mistake I made. I was recording some videos on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on different game modes and stuff using different weapons, just to get myself a really good feel for the game. And what it was because I played a lot of Infinite Warfare throughout of its life cycle, and in Infinite Warfare, when you summon in the drain care package, you can get the care package to come indoors to you. So me being me, not thinking, I was on Nuketown at the time, I throw down a care package inside the house, and what it was is that it went on the roof, and I was like conf so confused. It seemed like a couple of minutes just to click in and realize I was playing the wrong Call of Duty game to try and get a care package to come indoors to me. But... It was one of the things, and sadly enough, it was a wraps, and it ended up going on the roof, and then no one could get it, so... I was kind of a little bit peed off about it, but it's all good. But let me know down below in the comment section, if you play many different Call of Duty games, do you tend to make silly mistakes like that from time to time, or was it just me? Let me know. It would be really good and interesting if you guys have had some like silly stories like that, if you would like to share them with me. Just so then I don't feel like a complete noob, but this guy's just jacked my care package, bro. What are you doing? Let's do this. Nice. Ooh, come on, Eric. Come on. Nice. Dropping him like potatoes. Ooh, nice. Six kill lead right now. Care package. I'm hoping that no one's going to jack this one. And when I do summon it in the game, guys. Whoa, this I literally had potato aim right then. That guy managed to absolutely mess me up, but... Rolling with the Annihilator, the Golden Gun. Which, to be fair, I shouldn't really call it the Golden Gun, because... The Golden Gun's in Destiny. You know what I mean? And some of you guys have been asking me, will, will I ever play Destiny on my channel? And it's like, I will play Destiny in the future. It's just like, I hold back from that sort of thing because the thing is, one thing I noticed as a gamer and as a YouTuber quite a lot, you see all these great games coming out, and when they come out, a lot of people are really hyped up for them. But nine times out of ten, most newish games that have got a lot of people really hyped up for, either end up 
game released and they're not to their 100% standard like how they should be and they have always had a lot, a lot of maintenance issues and stuff and that sort of thing puts me off like it makes me not want to play that game until it's properly fixed like I've got Destiny 2 I brought it when it pretty much came out on my Xbox One and to be honest I played it a few times on my brother's account and I just think to myself like that when this game first came around I saw so many articles about issues, about server issues, the game was too short, the things were missing, problems with raids, and I was like, it makes me not want to play the game. Like, it may, I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of games that have done that for me. Like, there's a lot of games. And it's not that I don't want to play it, because I buy the game because I do want to play it. It's just these issues. So then, it's one of them things where it makes me want to hold on. Like, wait for a while, wait till I do my projects, and then I could play, because by then, all the problems would have been fixed, the game would be completely smooth, there's no issues, and then I can enjoy it. And that's what I kind of did with The Division. You know what I mean? A lot of people love the game, a lot of people hate the game, but since the game's been fixed a lot, there's been a lot of things been fixed within the game, and they've added new things in, it makes me want to play the game even more. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things, and that's what I find. And I find one thing I find as a YouTuber, it's not, even though a lot of YouTubers like jumping on trending, so like as soon as something new comes out, they want to they be the first in the world to do it. Like, I see it all the time. Like, for example, Call of Duty released a new DLC, a new Zombies map comes out, their zombie community is straight on it. Like, they want to find these strength the first, like, in the world. Which I have respect for, you know what I mean? A lot of people do that. But me as a YouTuber, I find that rushing things, I don't know. Like, I didn't like rushing things. I like to take my time because if you rush something, and then it's done. Are you 100% satisfied with that? Or would you care to just take your time, enjoy it as, you, as you're making your progression for it? And then you've done it then, and you know what I mean? You can say, you know what? I did that at my own, at my own pace, you know what I mean? I don't know. People are different, which I respect that people like to rush, some people don't. But let me know down below in the comment section. Are you one of them sort of people? Ooh, nice, nice, nope. <laughs> nice, fair enough though. We are winning at the moment though, guys. We're absolutely flooring these guys, but... Come on. A few more kills now and then we've done it, but we're not going to get a rookie gain kill like that. I have got my Cerberus as well. If I really wanted to, I could take full control on my... Well, could have took full control on my Cerberus, but whoever it was has just destroyed it, unless it's self-destructed. Cheeky. Nice. One more kill right now. Come on, Aaron. One kill and we've done it. We can do this. We can do it. Where is he? Where is everyone? <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this map, everyone runs for the inside area. Guarantee there's people in here. Ooh, yo, bro. Nice. So there we go, we smashed them free for all. <laughs> I'm buzzing about this one, literally. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It's slid in there and just pow, taking them down like a boss. But hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see even more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay, then let me know, guys. Drop some comments down below in the comment section. As you guys know, I'm a Call of Duty YouTuber. I also like to play other things as well. But I like to shake things up a little bit. And that's why part of my New Year's resolution for 2018 was is to obviously quit my bad habit of energy drinks, which so far has been so good. I have literally not touched no energy drinks since. And to make as many videos as I possibly can on different Call of Duty games, as many other games as I can. Complete loads of series that I've left undone and just have fun on YouTube and hopefully grow and grow with you guys at home. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you again on my next video.